The center of the Milky Way is a story of intense radiation, gravity, and mystery. A place where the forces of nature are pushed to their limits. But what if our own planet were to find itself in this cosmic theater? What would happen if the Earth were located there and somehow managed to survive? Let's start this journey to the heart of our galaxy and find out. Picture this. You're floating in space, surrounded by billions and billions of stars. Suddenly, you see a bright swirling mass of gas and dust in the distance. That, my friend, is the Milky Way galaxy, our home in the vast expanse of the universe. The Milky Way is estimated to contain over 100 billion stars and is about 100,000 light years across. In other words, if you were traveling at the speed of light, it would take you 100,000 years to cross the Milky Way from one end to the other. It's a couple trillions of miles. And it isn't just a static collection of stars and gas. It's a dynamic, evolving system. In fact, the Milky Way is currently hurtling through space at a speed of about 1.3 million miles per hour. One of the most fascinating things about our galaxy is its shape. The Milky Way is a spiral galaxy, which means that it kind of looks like a disk with a central bulge and spiral arms. The spiral arms are the areas where new stars are born. It's where the most stars, gas, and dust are concentrated. And this is where the solar system is located. Our system is like a tiny speck in the grand cosmic tapestry of the Milky Way. It's about 26,000 light years away from the center of the galaxy. A pretty long distance, isn't it? The solar system is also moving through the Milky Way as it orbits around the galactic center. It takes about 230 million years for our system to make one complete orbit around the galaxy. Just imagine that. Since the time of the dinosaurs, we've traveled just a quarter of this way. The position of the solar system in the galaxy affects our life in many ways. For example, things like the amount of radiation and cosmic rays we're exposed to, and even the likelihood of asteroid impacts, and so on. Also, thanks to our location, we can enjoy some pretty amazing views of the universe around us. From our vantage point in the Milky Way, we're able to see other galaxies, nebulae, and star clusters in breathtaking detail. We're also a part of a pretty happening neighborhood, with lots of other stars and planets nearby. So we're lucky fellas. But what would happen if we weren't so lucky? What if the Earth was located in the center of the Milky Way instead? The center of the Milky Way is home to a region of space called the Central Bulge, and it's just packed with stars. It's like a disco ball, but instead of shiny mirrors, it's covered in stars. Only this disco ball is really huge about 10,000 light years in diameter. The center of the Milky Way is also home to some extreme environments that would make even the bravest astronauts shiver. High energy particles and intense magnetic fields can wreak havoc on electronics and spacecraft. Intense radiation fields can fry anything in their path, so it's not exactly a friendly place for life as we know it. So, if the Earth were located somewhere closer to the center of the Milky Way galaxy, it would be a very different place. Let's take a look at some of the potential effects. First of all, radiation. As we mentioned earlier, the center of the Milky Way is one of the most radiation-dense regions in the galaxy. It would make life on Earth very challenging, if not impossible. Sure, we have the Earth's magnetic field, it's like a giant shield that protects us from harmful radiation from outer space. But could it protect us if we were located in the center of the Milky Way? Unfortunately, the answer is no. It's kind of like trying to use a tiny umbrella to protect yourself from a massive storm. So it would be an easy win for the galaxy. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are some brave organisms that are able to adapt to high levels of radiation. We've seen that life on Earth has evolved to survive anywhere, from the depths of the ocean to the icy poles of the planet. So, 
Let's imagine what would happen if we somehow evolved to survive in these harsh conditions. Like, picture humans with tough, scaly skin that protects them from radiation, and plants with unique structures that allow them to thrive in this bright environment. In that case, radiation could still have some seriously spooky effects on us. For example, it could damage DNA molecules and cause mutations. Imagine a world where plants grow with five leaves instead of four, animals have strangely colored fur, or people have unusual eye colors or other unique features. And these are just some of the best examples. Let's not dive into the bad ones. Also, it could cause us to undergo some metabolic changes. Maybe our bodies could process food and other resources more quickly, which could lead to faster growth rates and larger sizes. Plants could grow tall and thick, and animals would be much larger than usual. There are also some organisms on Earth that are able to bioluminesce. Thanks to high levels of radiation, these organisms could potentially glow even brighter than usual. Imagine walking through a forest at night and seeing trees, mushrooms, and even insects glowing with an eerie blue or green light. Frightening and amazing, isn't it? But let's move on to the next big change, gravity. The gravity in the center of the Milky Way is incredibly strong, all thanks to a supermassive black hole which is about 4 million times the mass of the Sun. This black hole is called Sagittarius A. And yep, it's our neighbor now. Great! And assuming we don't get swallowed by this black hole or crushed by this incredibly strong gravity, it still could trigger lots of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. This black hole would be like the gravitational bully, pulling and tugging at everything in its path. Basically, if we survived this, we'd have an epic surfing competition every single day. Just add a bit of the thrill of risking your life, and forget about running away from the planet. No easy rocket launches anymore. And physical objects won't be the only ones affected by gravity. Time would flow very differently for us. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time passes more slowly in areas of high gravity. In other words, Earthlings would age more slowly than someone far from the center of our galaxy. Also, the center of the Milky Way is a very busy place. Stars, planets, and other celestial objects moving around at incredibly high speeds there every day. The positions of stars and other objects would be constantly changing. In other words, say goodbye to normal navigation. The GPS system would likely be unreliable due to the strong gravitational forces and high radiation. So, if you accidentally got lost in a glow-in-the-dark forest with some creepy animals, good luck! But it's not all bad. The center is also home to molecular clouds. These are the regions of space where new stars are born. And the Milky Way in general has some pretty amazing sights to offer. For example, stunning nebulae like the Orion Nebula and the Eagle Nebula which are visible with telescopes or even just a good pair of binoculars. So, if Earth were located in the center of the Milky Way, we would have a front row seat to some of the most spectacular cosmic events. Wouldn't that be awesome? Overall, if Earth were located in the center of the Milky Way, it would be a very different place. Of course, we all understand that our planet wouldn't have survived such a change. But it's still pretty interesting to imagine how our life would flow if we were there. And judging by what we just discussed, it wouldn't be pretty. So let's treasure and appreciate our small, quiet solar system. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.